Oh, that's the Brantford bus station where back in 2004 I went to hand out flyers and they had the police come to eject me for trespassing. So I got the rest of my flyers from a while ago, letters to Mike Hancock explaining how I want to use bus credits because a lot of people are now riding with these Brantford bus credit cards and I want to pay students with bus credits to do stuff for the city. And that way we get to use the unused capacity of those buses that's now going empty and trading it for kids to do stuff for us and anybody who's unemployed. So they called the cops, had me removed last time, but I was still on probation for the big Parliament Hill bust where I was charged with possession for the purpose of trafficking to the Prime Minister of Canada, seven pounds of marijuana, and I was on probation for three years, so I couldn't risk getting arrested for trespassing because they wouldn't let me out, but now probation's over. So if they call the cops, it just might end up being a trespass charge. I don't expect to go to jail, but you just never know what an uppity officer might decide to do. And uh, so I'm going to go pass out my flyers now. Hi, I'm John, running for mayor. Read my paper. Right on the property. It, it, we'll find right out. Right on the property. we we'll find out. Oh, thank you. I'll find out. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, the bus credit. Oh, 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 sure. That's the idea. Oh, for your parents. Pay students with bus bucks. Pay students with bus bucks. Pay right. hey, students with bus credits to do work around town. Do the snow. Duh. We need kids to do it. Okay, sir. Here, pay people with bus bucks. All right, all right, all right. All right. Will you work if we pay you with bus bucks, bus credits? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. why here. That's what I want to do. I'm running for mayor. I want to pay students with bus credits. Yeah. 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 You gotta tell your parents because last time they didn't vote for me. Bus credits. Yes, bus sir. Credits. How about bus you? Would you work for bus bucks? Sure, you would. Would you work? And your, and your parents can pay for this and the taxes with them. Want to hear about bus bucks? Like I say, only the kids, right? Funny, eh? Adults, they don't care. They're already on welfare. They're covered for life. Want to read about bus bucks? Take students, bus credits, and stuff. Sir. Want to read about paying students with bus dollars? Bus bucks. Check it out. Pay students with bus bucks. Thank you very much. Bus credits to pay students. Oh. Imagine you've got new bus bucks you can pay people with. Uh. Anyway, I'm running for mayor. That's what I want to do. Yes, sir. Hey, students with bus bucks. I'm running for mayor. Want to read about it? Bus bucks. I'll give you one of the bigger models. Running for mayor. Hey, students with bus bucks. Running for mayor. I want to pay students with bus bucks. Bus credits to pay students to clean the snow in the air. I got to uh, turn around and uh, bus bucks. get the uh, bus calls. Fill those buses. Uh, I'm running for mayor. Here, I'll give you a bigger one. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. She doesn't want one either. <laughs> Pardon? She doesn't want one either. <laughs> I'm the great Canadian gambler. And if I can't teach people how to win and they don't want to learn, someone's got to lose. Bus box, pay students with bus credits. Give jobs, pay off the snow in the wintertime. Bus box. Hey, come on. Wouldn't that be nice having a bunch of students shoveling your snow in the winter? I don't have a house. And we pay them with rides. No more falling in the ice. We pay students with bus bucks. Well, that's how I got to oh. steal food. Anyway, let's fill those empty buses. Pay the students to do stuff with bus bucks. Want to read about it? Well, you just gave me one back right. I just I agree with you. It's a good idea. Yeah, thank Very you. Smart. Bus bucks. Pay students and unemployed with bus credits. Okay, to shovel the snow. Fill those buses with, you know, use it. It's empty, right? What, the buses? I'm saying pay students with bus credits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. $20 bus notes that they can come and get their credits here or pay trade them around. They can't afford it. Then it applies that you could work now. You go put in an hour shoveling the snow at the next snowstorm and you get 12 bucks worth of bus bucks. Come on. So, and the point is, all we got to do is make sure we can provide the rides backing up the IOUs for bus bucks, and we can. It's empty most of the time. Let's use them. So we're trading unused capacity for labor out of the youth taking care of the oldsters, doing their errands if they log in at a certain point. And not only that, but the bus bucks, the credits you earn are linked to the time standard where you can travel overseas and use your bus bucks.
I went to 11 countries 10 years ago, paid with an IOU for a night back in Canada, worth five hours, or 60 bus bucks. I want to pay students for bus bucks. Did you hear about it? Would you, would you work for bus credits? Would you shovel the snow in the winter when a snow plow goes by if you gave you 12 bucks in bus credits an hour? Read about it. You want, here, 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 read about it, got better eyes. Unemployed people can earn them too. And daddy can use them to pay his taxes. All right. Bus credits! Bus bucks! Bus bucks! <laughs> bus bucks! Sell us buses! Bus bus. You work in bus bucks! Bus bucks! Bus bucks! <laughs> Want to read about bus bucks? Sure, I'll make you a deal. You give me one of yours, and I'll give you one of mine. Fair enough. Money for council. I hope they don't have any flyers on me, but... Well, this is just a little letter I wrote to the mayor asking them to pay students with bus credits. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. There's one of my cards for Ward 4. And if you like the idea, and say so publicly, I'll, be, I'll push you too. Okay, okay yeah. thanks. I'm looking for the guys in your wards with the brains to do this. Okay, yeah. Are you ready to pay unemployed people with bus bucks? Hey, that could work. That's what I want. All right, you got your phone number that on Yes, here? it is. Oh, I don't know. Is it? Yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, of course. All right, yeah, I'll give you a call. What's your name? Put you on your internet tonight. Yeah, it's Bob Brown. Bob Brown running in what ward, Bob? Ward 4. Ward 4, okay. He's going to check out the bus bucks idea, and if he says he likes it, we're going to talk more about him. See you, Bob Brown. Great. See you later. Sean. Have a good day. Sean from Brand News. Well, hi, hi, hi. Good to, good to see you. Uh, here to cover your uh, filing. Well, you... I filed just a little while ago. I put on my Tim Phil, take me off the debate button, <laughs> which I wear for the whole campaign when I go to the Rogers debate, too. Well, he won't be there this year. Why? Because he's running in Ward 5. No, no, I said the Rogers debate. Oh, I thought you said I wouldn't be there. Oh, no, no, no. He oh. won't be there. All right, what's your name again? Sean. Sean. Last name, Sean. Alan. We're from the Brant News. Okay, Brent. go ahead. Okay, so tell me about uh, your campaign again. Well, basically, I'm going to be explaining how we can pay students and unemployed people with bus credits. When the, snow, when the snowstorm hits and the plows go by, all of a sudden you got every student who signed up to get out there and put in his hour shovel in the snow and he gets 12 bucks worth of bus pass credits. All right, now you tell me any student's going to turn that down. And I'm talking kids too, because a kid's going to honor a 12-hour bill, one hour, given time trading around the world, but a kid's going to honor a one-hour bill longer than we're going to live. So you better pay him 12 green bus, bus bucks per hour. He's uh, your future. So everybody on a volunteer basis gets 12 bus bucks per hour, and in normal business they charge normal. You know, so if you're a dentist, you can charge 60 bus bucks per hour or whatever. Okay. It's just, but the basic is volunteer hours. So if you're working as a dentist making 60, when you go help your nephew clean the park, you're getting 12 like everybody else. Okay. A volunteer hour is the basis, but we pay them with bus bucks. Right away, everybody knows everybody in town is going to want them because they can all use them for bus bucks. So. Good anyway, luck. Mr. Brown, good luck and Thank see you, you later. Good luck to you too. Check out the, send me an email on the net. You like bus bucks first, you get my plug. All right, I'm Johnny Engineer, number 74 election here. 74, is it? Yes. 74. Yeah. 72 losses right now. One cancellation and one unknown, this one. So I upset one driver only. And as, and as soon as the others started hearing, fill those buses, fill those buses, all of a sudden the resistance went down, you know. I saw the guy who didn't like me run in there to tell somebody I'm here. And I said, well, you saw my message, so. Anyway, running from there, they're not going to bother me, I don't think, this time, and that's good. I'm going to be out here on a regular basis, passing up my flyers to the kids in particular. Most adults are too dumbed down, excuse the expression, but put it in, please to catch on to printing their own damn poker chips. And that's basically what I want Branford to do. To print their own poker chips based on bus rides and tax payment because when Junior earns bus bucks, Daddy can use them to pay for municipal taxes. So you're I just registered this morning. You know what's funny? They've got this in the brand new... The brand news! I highlighted it so good. And it's, it's got the mayoralty election as a complete snore fest. Uh -huh. And I just managed to say, wow, this is the day I'm getting in it. And I remember telling people at the Brantford Inventors meeting on Wednesday, 
I'm not registering to the last day so people are truly aware of how boring it was till I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. So how is this, uh, how is this different? Could I, uh, Brantford Bucks last time, is this any different or slightly it's a, different? Well, this, well, Brantford Bucks would have based on the dra would have been based on the Dragon's Den 100 grand. Right. Then I would have talked about, hey, hey, bus guys, let's do it there too. But now the Dragon's Den didn't do it, and that's a fun case going on right now. The Dragon's Den didn't do it, and so here I am saying, well then, let's issue bus bucks in payment to students who put in work. In the old days, they called them work bees, carve in French. You could work off your taxes by working for the city on a road or a bridge. In the old days, that's how we built our roads when we had no gold, carve, work bees. Well, imagine now that as fast as they put in their work, you give them a receipt for their labor, and it happens to be worth 12 bucks worth of bus rides. Because that's what we choose. Because in America, a one-hour bill is 10 American. Canada, it's been 12 for years. Britain, it's been 6 green pounds per hour. France, 60 green francs. Germany, 20 green marks. So when I went to Europe 10 years ago, and I stayed 39 nights out of 40 without paying for a motel, except I paid with an IOU for a night back in Canada for five hours. Because I'm not going to say I owe you 100 green marks in my account, and then UIO 300 green francs for five hours worth. And they agreed five hours per night, and they said, okay, that's what we're going to do. So, Brantford bus bucks become immediately compatible because we're doing 12 per hour with the worldwide time standard, which means that you can now travel the world like I did, paying with IOUs for a night back in Brantford, which even if you can't cover, you'll find someone else who'll take that German kid's IOU. So it's time barter with your time as the wealth behind the chips. And in this case, we induce the kids to put in those hours in exchange for empty bus seats. Use it or lose it resource of the city. So that's it, bus bucks. And what's sad is in the last election, at the last minute, it was between Frio and Hancock, and Frio had said he liked bus bucks at one point in the debate. And therefore I, therefore I pulled out and I put up a sign, vote Chris Frio. And the expositor didn't print my thing for two extra days, and I still ended up getting 220 votes, and, and he that lost. Would have been the difference. He lost. That's right. And, and we would have had bus bucks. Two, four years ago, Frio would have been forced to give us bus bucks. So three times, three times, three times, I, three times I wrote him and I said, Chris, are you going to support the bus bucks? Three times he didn't answer yes, and here I am on the last day running for bus bucks myself. But if he'd said, yes, I'll support Bus Bucks, I'd have supported Frio, but he blew his chance for my support, and now I'm going to beat him up for being, well, being smart year. four years ago and losing his wisdom in four years. What happened, you know? What deterioration? Like, Smokes the marijuana, stop the Alzheimer's, quick. Hey, it's true, marijuana regrows brain cells, neurogenesis. You know, that's why I'm so sharp and my opponents are so dull. Do you have uh, any campaign material I can take back with me? I can give you the letter I'm giving out to uh, Hancock, which you, you got it or not. You got it or not. I wrote okay. to Hancock two years ago about the bus okay. pass. And that's about it. I have this flyer from an old election, which if people are interested, okay. explains how to do it bigger. But that's about it. How many, uh, how many of those 74 were Brantford Merrill races? One. In, One. When I came in 03, I had to go run in Ottawa because uh, I was still a resident okay. there. It wasn't the year here. Then the next election was 06 and now 10. So it's only my second. Okay. So anyway, but again, uh, like I say, I wouldn't have been running if Frio had supported Brantford bus bucks, but he didn't have the whatever. It's too big an issue, who knows, but he didn't have the mm, to run with it, and I'm not running with it. I've been spending a lot of time here. I would say most of my time, other than going to meetings, I'll be here. All right, see ya. Good to meet you. We'll see you around during the campaign. You and, got uh, it. Next week. Okay. Come in. Got a lot of sheets. We'll do. I'm gonna wait one more session here. Walk around yakking. May as well kill the 15 minutes doing some new politics. You want to come and listen to new stuff? I would love to. I'll make it entertaining by getting new stuff. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm trying new stuff. I'm talking about Argentina. New students. I want to pay students with bus credits to do stuff. Like big snowstorm.
the unemployed kids who've got nothing to do, they can get out there, shovel snow, make 12 bus credits an hour. And of course, other people will take it because they can do their taxes. Yeah. Why are we about bus bucks? Oh, no, I want to pay unemployed kids with bus credits. Oh, 12 bus bucks an hour, six rides an hour, shovel the snow in the wintertime, you know, or, oh, or clean up a park. Oh, well, there you go. I'm That's running for idea. mayor, yeah. and uh, I'm going to use idea. I'm going to use empty bus seats to pay students and anybody who wants to go work 12 bucks an hour, you volunteer. There's a big one for you. And My husband would probably do that one. Wonderful. What's your name? John Termel. Nice to meet you. Okay. Okay, I'm on the internet. Have your name on here? John Termel .com and my phone. Okay, right check it out. I'm in the Guinness Book of Records. Are you? Are you really? I'm cool. in the Guinness Book of Records. I'm the biggest loser in the world. Oh, I'll have to differ with I, you. On that one. This is this is my 74th election. Oh really? I've never won one. Are you serious? I lost 72. Oh, and one no. was called off, and this mm -hmm. might be 73. So. Really? Oh well. But the I point is, different for you. But you're I was trying, always pushing. I was always pushing using our own chips. Yeah. I mean, why represent our collateral with their chips at 10% interest when we can use our collateral with our chips with no interest? So I took poker chip software and I adapted it so that people could sign up. It's called Let's Local Employment Trading System. You sign up and say, okay, I'm willing to babysit on every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Friday, I got these four hour blocks free. And then somebody out there goes, click, okay, well, I'm willing to babysit on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so that you can say, I'll come babysit your kids or anyone else and earn hours, and then someone else, anyone else can come and do yours. So, so it's you, time, it's a time bank. So you time barter. You put out, you get back in return. Exactly the same amount of time. Now, question is that, Well, you do that. Everybody's got their record online where I can see your account. I can see that you've been babysitting for the last year with the kids at this lady's place and you did that. I got month. four kids. I don't need anybody else. Well, okay. All I, meant to, all I meant to say is that everybody's account is an open scoreboard. So you can see this old lady's been babysitting everybody's kids. Well, I want her too, you know. Never a complaint. Always a well done. Even a tip once in a while. And... Some people will charge more hours per hour because we base it as a volunteer hour. Yeah. So someone who volunteers with their grandkid to go and clean the park, they both make one hour per hour, 12 bus bucks. But if the guy's a doctor, he can say, I want 80 bus bucks per hour in my chair. That's, he said, that's a cap and free market. So when he's working at his job, a mechanic or a, you know, a dentist or someone who charges more, sure, they charge more bus bucks. But when he's working as a volunteer with the kids, 12 like everybody else. So the, base, the basic is a volunteer hour that any kid can get to, 12 bus bucks. And uh, that's, that's right. And that's well. basically what we got at state this election. That's because you got to admit, there's a lot of poverty and unused resources. Right. And if, at least get around. And if, yeah, that's of right. course. And if by taking the unused seats and managing to mobilize kids to shovel the snow from our driveways we can the next step is the next step is running errands for old people okay you know again we could do anything we want with bus bucks once we put the list of jobs on the internet once the little old ladies realize that oh god i gotta go and i gotta i gotta mow my lawn and they can just put up can someone come mow our lawn and any oldster their signature is thank you is valid because you so know in other words you're willing to that's right. That's right. Isn't that neat? That's right. So anyway, that's basically the vote for John Termel at the mayor, but we got to, you know, most people don't take it seriously. Right. They, no, they, they don't. They say, hey, this they guy doesn't have any idea. signs. Yeah. That's right. I got no signs. I just got a good idea. So. Yeah. Very good idea. <laughs> it is a very good idea. Good. good. Thanks. Good. Spread good the word, you. you know. Yes, oh, oh best of all, <laughs> if you got any kids working for bus bucks, you can use them to pay the municipal taxes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. oh well, there you go. <laughs> That's hey, kid, yeah, <laughs> you can do that. Get out there. there. Yeah. And you better do a good job. Mrs. Jones is going to call me if it wasn't shoveled yeah. right. Yeah, you'll go back you know? and do it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So that's it. Actually, it will promote excellence out of the youth. And it you does. Can just sign it up does. online. And it keeps them busy. Too I promise the, the city hall will have an online job site offered first day I'm in. 
Come and sweep my office, just to promise. Which, I, uh, I'll come and sweep your office. Yes. <laughs> Get on it. <laughs> when is the election? October 25th, I believe. Okay. In five or six weeks. Do you have, you have to be a registered voter, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, again, oh, but I mean, it just sure. needs a chit chat to explain to people about, you know, the best line is Paul Demarin, Mr. Power Corporation, richest in Canada almost when he was broke in Sudbury during the Depression with his Sudbury bus lines. Yeah. He paid all his employees with bus tickets and it worked. Yeah. We're going to do it too. Yeah. There you go. Nice, yeah. you. nice meeting you. Bus tickets! Bus day! Are you from Brantford? I have uh, Here, you check out my, I'm running for mayor. Uh, really I want to pay I students with uh, bus pass yeah, credits to shovel the snow. Clean the parks. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. See, so we have all these empty seats going empty. We're going to put students in there if they shovel our snow. <laughs> all right. John Turmel, vote for me for mayor. Uh, I'm John Turmel, running for mayor. And I want to pay students with bus pass dollars. Who wants to read about it? Damn right. There's no other paychecks. None of that. Papa can use them to pay his municipal taxes too. So he'll love him earning bus pass bucks. 12 so bus pass bucks an hour for volunteers. <laughs> Doctors make more. Read about it. Check out bus pass bucks. Come on, pay students with bus pass bucks to take care of the oldsters. I want them shoveling my stall. You want to read about it? Good. Got one? Check this out. Bus pass dollars. Pay, you know, pay students to take care of oldsters with bus pass credits. Pay students to take care of oldsters with bus pass credits. You know? John the Engineer, Terminal, running for mayor. And I want to pay students with bus pass credits to take care of us oldsters, shoveling the snow when the plows go by. Why couldn't every unemployed kid be out there as a gang ready to shovel those things clean for us? Especially when it's your kid starting with your laneway being paid by your city. So I'm John the Engineer and want to pay with bus pass bucks. So take it seriously, please. All right, I want to pay with bus pass dollars to put the kids to work taking care of the old people. Good idea? Come on, how many students unemployed would come and get 12 bus pass bucks per hour to clean a park or shovel snow? Come on. I know, I know, spread the word. I mean, that's my idea. I just want to pay kids with bus credits and put them all to work. I mean, we've got to dream up anything, clean a park, you know? I mean, walk an old lady to the store, mow her lawn, anything to help an oldster and you get 12 bus pass bucks per hour. And if you're a doctor, you can charge what 60. What is this? <laughs> That's capitalism, volunteer. Hey, if the doctor charges 60 in the chair, the dentist, when he's cleaning the park with his grandchild, he's only getting 12 like everybody else, volunteer. So there's a minimum, it's volunteer, and professionals get what they earn, and that keeps the capitalism there while giving everybody a good chance. 12 bucks worth of bus bucks per hour. Oh, by the way, <laughs> this was this week's Brant News, okay? And you can see, it says the Brantford mayoral race presented in mediocre 2D yeah. with everybody sleeping. And I said, you know, I waited till the very last day to join just so everybody became aware how really boring it was until I showed up. <laughs> yes, sir, the boring mayoralty election just got more interesting. And if I call them Brantford poker chips, <laughs> easier to understand. That's true. We can use them in the casino, too! <laughs> so you can understand why politicking for me is so much more fun than it is for the oh, yeah. average politician <laughs> who says, tell me your woes, tell me your stories, and I'm really concerned and I'd like to do something, and I'll look into it, you know, versus I'll pay with bus bucks. <laughs> you heard about Brantford bus bucks? I'm running for mayor. I want to pay students with bus credits okay. to take care of old kids, shovel the snow in the winter, lots of stuff. Okay. Take those empty bus seats and trade them. I just uploaded my uh, my G20. Mm -hmm. You know the G20 in Toronto? I was there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the point is, I. I even had a run-in with the police. You see me going with my, I had the biggest sign there. Yeah. I always have the best sign, okay? So I'm doing my run-in with the police. And at one point you see me like this, and at the other point you see me coming back with no stick. They took away my stick. Hey, unemployed students with bus bucks. Bus credits put us to work. We're gonna fill your buses and pay students with bus bucks. 
nothing wrong with filling your buses, eh? You got empty chairs? I want to trade them to the kids. They're going to shovel the small for dry grades. There you go. <laughs> you hear about bus bucks? I want to let you, I want to pay you to shovel the snow in the winter and pay you the bus credits. And I'm running for mayor. All right. You know, six years ago when I came here, they had called the police and had me ejected. <laughs> so that's why I have a post at my web, my blog saying I'm going down to the station. Last time I was on probation for a stunt on Parliament Hill, so I couldn't risk being arrested and taken away. But now the probation is over. So I said, I said I'm going down to the bus station tomorrow as soon as I register in the election, and let's see if they call the cops again. And this time. They're probably going to have to take me away. You know, four times in the last provincial election, police came and took me away from meetings. The Board of Trade, the Women's University group, two other groups, they said no independent candidates allowed. Get me off. And I went on the stage. I said, I'm staying. And they said, leave. I said, no. They said, we'll call the police charge you with trespassing. I said, go ahead. I do this all the time. Half an hour later, the cops show up, take me outside, say, don't go back. I say, I know. I just want to bust up the crooked meeting until you came. And I go home. Four times. That was a record. Yeah. I've never had to bust up four meetings and be taken away by the cops four times. So I was thinking maybe they'd want to do it again today. But they know it's going to come down to cops. And they've left me alone so far. That's good, guys. Uh, yep. <laughs> But now I'm not on probation, so watch out, everybody. I'm ready to be charged with trespassing if I have to. same place. <laughs> yeah, for an hour. To be pushing bus bucks. <laughs> Honestly, deep down you think the drivers like the idea too. <laughs> We're gonna give you a raise in bus bucks. Every driver gets five bus bucks an hour and more. Yay! Geez, why didn't I think of that? Supervisors ten <laughs> If you see a guy laughing, you're going to give him a sheet, eh? Five bus bucks an hour extra for all the drivers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, shit, what a great program, you know? Who's going to object to the war and our drivers for five extra bus bucks an hour? Yes, sir. <laughs> I know, <gotta> tell him quick. Hey, all drivers, an extra five bus bucks an hour. Yes, sir. Yay, Rosie! 
Thomas Marie, my driver, when I had no wheels. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you, gentlemen. See ya. We're out of here.